If you understand dipole-dipole interactions, you will never lose a mark on intermolecular forces again. Dipole-dipole interactions are defined as the electrostatic attraction between permanent dipoles. Five words, that's it. Because the only time that you can get a permanent dipole is when you have a polar molecule. You will only form dipole-dipole interactions in polar molecules. Take the example of two hydrogen chloride molecules. We know from our Pauling scale that chlorine, or chloride here, is a much more electronegative element compared to hydrogen. That means that the chlorides are going to pull electron density towards themselves, and the hydrogen will be left with less electron density respectively. Because of the significant electronegativity difference, this results in a permanent dipole, which is different to dispersion force, which is just temporary dipoles forming. With more electrons around them, the chlorides gain a negative dipole, as we said, dipole means partial charge, and the hydrogens gain a positive dipole with less electrons around them. Because negative attracts positive, a attraction forms between the two dipoles, and this is what we call a dipole-dipole interaction. The electrostatic attraction between permanent dipoles in polar molecules. Follow us at Catalyst Chemistry for more HD chemistry tips and tricks. And if you have anything you want us to go through in the next video, comment it down below and we'll get to it as soon as we can. See you in the next one.